I've always loved turning wrenches, always working on stuff, figuring stuff out. I love this program. It's one of my favorite things. Apply some pressure to it. Brian Martin is fortunate. He's just 19 years old and he's ready to launch a career in aviation. He's also excited about the salary prospects. It's crazy. Two years out of high school, 20, 21, 22, depending on your age, you can make 100 grand a year, six figures a year. Martin just graduated from Charlotte High School last year. He was able to jumpstart his career by taking aviation industry classes at Charlotte Technical College while still in high school. In November, he'll get his certification in airframe and power plant. Yeah, you can go work for a big airline, go work for government. There's so many things you can go do. Amanda Fox is an aviation maintenance specialist at Charlotte Technical College. This is the place to be if you like to work with your hands. And even if the aviation ends up not being your career, you could go to NASCAR, you can work on medical equipment, you can work on elevators, escalators. There's a million other industries that this program prepares you for. For students like Martin, jump starting a career in high school can also save thousands of dollars in training expenses since the school district picks up the tab. Now school district leaders hope to remove one deterrent for high school students, the travel time required to get to the technical college, which is located at the airport. To me, losing that time, it's just you're taking away from your high school life. That's why school district leaders are planning to build a hangar at Charlotte High School. They're asking elected leaders like Congressman Greg Stubbe for help securing government dollars to pay for it. Stubbe recently heard from local leaders about why they feel growing this aviation program is important to the local economy. Derek Rooney is president of the Charlotte County Economic Development Partnership. We want to avoid becoming more of that trap and, and just being in services and being more susceptible to the economic vagaries that can occur in the community like we had in 2008, we need to look to diversify. We look to the platform that we have here, and that platform, I believe, is the airport. But James Parrish, the CEO of the Airport Authority, says growing the airport, a top economic engine in the county, has one big obstacle. One of the problems we've had for about 18 years that I've been at the airport was always when we had a, an industry come to us, they're like, well, where's my workforce? We have great retirees, uh, but we were missing that young workforce. Brian Granstra, the director of career and education for the school district, believes that future hangar is part of the solution. He says it will expose more teenagers to Florida's booming aviation industry, which is facing critical employee shortages. Granstra points to the success of Brevard County's O'Galley High School on the Space Coast, where he says students have landed jobs with companies like Lockheed Martin, SpaceX, and Blue Origin. It's a program that's serving as a model for Charlotte High's new aerospace program. The space industry, as we know, does much of their launching from Cape Canaveral. And they do some of their assembly in Cape Canaveral as well. Many of their suppliers are throughout the country, in Georgia, Alabama, and Texas. So with Space Florida, we're hoping to lure some of those businesses into Charlotte County, either by having a talented workforce and also getting them incentives to move here. But making that goal a reality will not be quick. It's going to start small, but we think we'll eventually start building up and get bigger and bigger. Or easy. It will cost $2.5 million just to build the hangar district officials are proposing. Congressman Stubbe says he sees promise in the program. What we've learned over the years is that not everybody's built for college, and you have a lot of really great young minds whose minds think differently than being in college, and what a great opportunity to have something like this in Charlotte County. But he can't make any promises. He intends to submit a federal funding request for the hangar project, but it's got to be approved by Congress. Granstra is optimistic that the governor will soon sign off on the $1.5 million the state legislature has set aside for this. Then Granstra and his team vow to find the rest of the federal, state, and local government dollars and donations needed to pay for the hangar, as well as all the planes and technology needed inside. For WGCU News, I'm Sandra Victorova.